Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I just wanted to show you how completely fucked up the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is. This is their website, and I went here because of that story at San Onofre. I wanted to find out who the heck is it that is responsible for San Onofre, uh, for them not being willing to go in and do the the inspections at San Onofre uh, after it's closed down, discovering that it's kind of a mess down there, that they've got radiation on both sides of the freeway, and nobody warning the public. So I went to the website and found this, and look how they have it logged in. This is a PDF that pops up. When I tried to print it out, look what happens to the page. They have it logged in. They have the computer logged in there so that this whole fucking thing, you can't print it out. So let's let's just do this really quick. Here we go. Here are the commissioners. There's actually an empty seat. See, it says vacant. Maybe we should nominate ourselves, huh? Uh, I have all the information. I have decided we are going to start naming names here at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. This is Jeff Baran. He's the commissioner. Here's another commissioner. Christy. Siviniki, and I'm going to do another video on who these freaking people are. Stephen Burns, he's the chair. He runs the whole gigantic thing. He's the head guy. And then William Orson, or Ostendorf. And then there's a vacant seat that happened. And then we have underneath these guys is the Executive Director, Advisory Committee, Regulatory safeguards, you can see their titles. Appellate justification, this guy's a judge. Oh, that means he gets to uh, side with the nuclear regulatory agency all the time. That's what he gets paid to do is say, uh, we're siding with the big money guys. And here are these people. Inspector General. Now, doesn't that, I don't know what the inspector, we need to really find out what each one of these people do. And then explain it. Let me move my little mousey thing over. And oh, executive director of operations. He's in direct. Look at this guy. Boom. He's in charge there. And then let's see. Oh, and then now because this is an, a vacant seat, these people answer to who? The commission to this guy, I think. General Counsel, International Programs. So let's move this thing down a little bit because when I was looking at this earlier, I think this lady is the one who should have done something about San Onofre. Director of Investigations, Cheryl McCrary. Uh, you know, and what does that say? Nuclear... Safety and safeguards. Yeah, I, I can't read that. You know, I don't have really great vision. Uh, nuclear material safety and safeguards. So that's what that is, nuclear safety. So these two people, this woman, here, let me increase this uh, a little bit more. Here we go. If you, you And you can't print this out. That's all you get. So let's see, where are these people? Here we go. Sorry about this, folks, but... Uh, Kind of difficult. Here we are. Here are the people who did nothing about San for who I believe these are the ones who are responsible. He's the Deputy Executive Director of Materials and Waste Research State Tribal and Compliance Programs. Isn't that compliance? Uh, so why did we need to write Catherine Haney and Cheryl McCrary and ask them why they did not warn the Orange County or San Diego County residents that there was nuclear radiation sitting on the 5 freeway and is still sitting there. And, you know, what kind of exposure are they exposing the residents of San Diego to? And if you live in San Diego, you need to know these people's names and you need to be able to write them and name them. The way that the Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner is set up, see, what's this? Oh, yeah, this is another website. Here's the website. Uh, this was the story that got me going. 
this whole thing about radioactive on the debris, very sloppy, very careless, and they did nothing, non-disclosure agreements to prevent negative information being made to the public. Uh, like, this is the complete bullshit about this, honestly. Um, so when I went to the NRC, let me go back here, and see, this is the organizational chart, and you need to be in contact with them. These are the people that you can write. Commission Business, Annette L. Vietti Cook, Secretary of the Commission, U.S. Regulatory Commission. So you can write her, or you can write him, Federal Intergovernmental Matters. This is the guy that interacts with Congress and External Affairs, U.S. Regulatory Commission, so we can write them, Daryl Adams. But why in the devil? Now, when you look at this and you look at this congressional, at this chart, this pops up as a, as a little PDF in this size. It pops up like this when you see it on their website page. Actually, you, you have to actually really reduce it quite a bit to take a look at it. So here, that's how it pops up. It normally populates at 25% the regular size. And you, I personally couldn't even read a single one of these words, like nothing. So I kept trying. I wanted to print it out thinking because it would sit on an 8 by 10 page, but it will not do that. So these people intentionally make it very difficult for us to figure out. So they must have some really good freaking attorneys here. That's the issue is really these attorneys. Let's see who the attorneys are. Secretary of the Commission, Director of External Affairs, the General Counsel, that's her, Margaret Doan. We should write her a letter and ask her, why do they make the website so difficult for the general public to use? And who else? Assistant of Operations, Chief Financial Officer. We should write him Victor McCree. We should ask him why the website is so difficult for people to use. We cannot print this information out. And how did the Nuclear Regulatory Commission actually get to the point where they come upon a site like San Onofre that they're supposed to be helping to maintain them and they will not conduct safety, they will not conduct any safety checks on it because it's above the radiation limit over there off the 5 freeway where millions of people live in Los Angeles and San Diego counties. They've kind of conglomerated into one big mega city now. I'm from Los Angeles so I know it quite well. And uh, people have been exposed to massive amounts of radiation out there because of San Onofre and these people have not issued a warning. So I want us to write these people letters and tell them uh, I think you are being negligent in your job and we should start asking our uh, my my congressman is Pete DeFazio, and I guarantee you, I'm going to start calling him and asking him, we want congressional hearings, we want these people held accountable, they need to lose their jobs because they are threatening the lives of Americans, and it is about time that we stop being poisoned by nuclear radiation. So put your courage feet on, you guys, and you know what? If you need to get angry to take action, get angry, because this is bullshit. These people are killing our grandchildren. Talk to you later. Bye.